METSAR is the Medical Student Association of Rwanda, a youth-led organization run by medical students. It was founded in 1997 at Huye in former Université Nationale de Rwanda. As you all recall, because I'm very sure that most of you has passed here, uh, the former faculty or College of Medicine and Health Sciences, this marked the birthplace of Metsa. From the idea of uh, few medical students who were in their third year, they founded Metsa with three main objectives. The first one is to promote medical education. The second one is to promote science and inter-university collaboration. And the third one was to start programs responding to community health needs. The first activity carried out were community of teachers at health centers in Huye. From our mission of creating or developing medical students into desired Rwandan healthcare providers, Melta has been nurturing generations of medical students into medical doctors that are now serving the country in different capacities. From the standing committees where medical students are practicing uh, different activities, namely the Standing Committee on Public Health, the Standing Committee on Sexual and Reproductive Health, including HIV and AIDS, the Standing Committee on Human Rights and Peace, the Standing Committee on Medical Education, the Standing Committee on Research Exchange, and the Standing Committee on Professional Exchange. Through those standing committees, medical students are being provided a platform to exercise their potentials so that they are being engaged into different activities while still at the medical school. Metsa Rwanda is an active member of International Federation of Medical Students Association, known as IFMSA, and it's the largest organization of medical students in the world. Metsa has a democratic representative structure with a board and the General Assembly as the main decision-making organ. The METSAR members elect a new board each year, and the board consists of a president, a vice president of internal affairs, a vice president of external affairs, a vice president of communication and publication, a vice president of finance, and a general secretary. We are celebrating the 25 years anniversary. It's the 25 years of youth engagement in health activities. It's also the 25 years of youth health activism. The youth taking the read to read different initiatives that are promoting health care locally and also globally. This has been an awesome journey, the journey of challenges, but also the journey of impact to different communities where we are working. We are reflecting on the 25 years journey, the activities we've been able to carry out, the impacts we made, but also setting the projections for the future. Because we as the youth, we are change makers. Our communities look up to us as the agents of change, and we believe that we'll keep on investing our efforts to bring the desired impacts. For the past 25 years, METSAR has been able to conduct its numerous and successful activities that impacted many beneficiaries. On behalf of the government of Rwanda, I welcome you to this 69th International Federation of Medical Student Association meeting in Kigali. You are welcome in Rwanda. Through the motivation, commitment, and dedication of MEDSA members, we are partnering with uh, different institutions, including the government, to support the healthy well-being of Randis through health promotion. Different partners appreciated its working experience and the role it plays in the development of the country. We have many, many collaborative activities with MEDSA from awareness in the community, they are helping us a lot, teaching the community down there in the villages how to prevent these NCDs, avoiding exposure to these uh, NCD risk factors. Medsa are also supporting us in doing uh, screening activities, screening campaigns in, in the community. So I can say that really we are enjoying a lot the partnership we're having with this uh, Medical Students Association because very active, very engaging people, very energetic people. 
and we think really your support is making a difference in terms of improving uh, NCDs prevention but also control in the country. UNFPA strive to deliver a world where every pregnancy is wanted, every childbirth is safe and every young person potential is fulfilled. So we really uh, commend the efforts of young people, especially organization of young people like MEDSA. That's why we had a great partnership with MEDSA in promoting sexual reproductive health and rights in Rwanda across schools, across communities, and uh, across different stakeholders. And we are advocated together because sexual reproductive health is part and parcel of universal health coverage and it should be central to our journey and uh, joint efforts toward SDGs. One of our major activities with MEDSA right now is the project regarding youth educational activities and sexual reproductive health and rights. There is a long history with MEDSA, like 17 years back, um, and there has been a lot of interesting projects going on and we want to thank you for all that and I think we want to we are hoping to continue the very good work because you're really doing great work and it's such a pleasure uh, doing this project with you guys. HDA rero yakomeje gukora na Metsa. Kuko Metsa tibona nk'uburyo nk'umuyoboro mwiza nk'umuryango urimo urubyiruko ushaka komeza gutanga amahirwe yo guhugura abandi baciye muri kaminuza bagakomeza kumenya uruhare rwabo batanga mu kubunga ubuzima bw'abanyarwanda tubona ari umuryango mu byukuri dufite inyungu zo gufatanya nawo kugira ngo turusho gutanga umusanzu wa twese dufatanyije kugira ngo noneho tukomeje kugira ku baturage one of the achievement we had we we have managed to partner in one specific and fame activity known as Kafri Day where we have been teaching people uh, on health lifestyle change and uh, helping them to know their health status and those who had abnormal results we refer them to their nearest health facilities. And then I got to know Meta from different, different spaces like in the workshops while they would be there sharing the experiences around the, the great work they do on sexual reproductive health and, and rights, mainly targeting youth and uh, adolescents and, and youth. We've been advocating together uh, in the area of uh, access to SRHR information, mainly targeting the adolescent girls and young women, but bringing our voices, uh, like mobilizing the partners and the government to make sure that SRHR services are available to adolescents and youth. I came to know about medicine in 2021 and uh, from that time we have been part in partnership. For instance, we are able to do uh, projects uh, in our 12 health centers that supported young girls with certain sanitary pads and uh, soap. We had an amazing time with, with medicine, that's why we actually continued working with them. First of all, these are young people. And since we work with also young people, they were easy to blend in. And two, they were community oriented. One of the major campaign we had last year in 2021 called Turinde Nyaminga, where we were together with a like-minded youth-led organization. We also partnered in one of uh, our activities where they trained our beneficiaries on menstrual health management which was a huge success for for our organization mainly and we are always happy to work with them because uh, MEDSER is composed with youth and who can better advocate for youth problem other than youth themselves. We know that there is lack of uh, education related to hygiene and other health issue, that's why we engage more with uh, medicine because we know they are, they are very specialized in health issues uh, according to what they study to the University of Rwanda. As I matter, it was really a success to meet with medicine and to learn a lot from activity they are doing and we have, we have seen impact to partner with them. 
Metsar has a courage possibility to empower medical students and give them a platform to become the desired Rwandan healthcare providers. It developed different generations of medical doctors who are now serving the country in different capacities. I think during my time, that's when we initiated exchange programs between uh, uh, German Medical Student Association. We started um, another project with the IMCC Denmark. Uh, uh, then we also uh, we had started some partnership with, with Medicine UK. Uh, and also another partnership with uh, global volunteers from uh, Edinburgh. So they would come and, 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 and uh, volunteer at, uh, at Medsa, and also st medical students would go to either Denmark or German for, 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 for exchange programs. So it was uh, uh, a learning process, both for our colleagues from the West and also uh, uh, the Rwandan uh, medical, medical students. But also during the same time uh, in 2004, uh, we were also active. Uh, I think we were the first cohort in uh, participating in the African regional training meeting uh, that took place in, uh, in Ghana. I can say that I, uh, uh, my first job was due to the fact that I had met uh, uh, a medical student who got involved very actively in the MDGs in Turkey, and that was in 20, no, 2004. So uh, when, when he came in 2005, he came looking for me. So due to that uh, encounter in Turkey, it opened up doors that immediately after the medical school, I, 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 had, I, had, I had a job. So, and from that time, uh, I've, I've, I've never uh, failed to, to, to land on, on good uh, assignments or, or, or jobs. So, uh, those are some of the wonderful, the wonderful memories, about, but also interacting with the peers, going to the communities, and, and, and these have shaped uh, my, 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 my entire life. And also it has instilled in me the, the instance of giving back to the, uh, to the community. Medicine, the church, I was in the community, and I was in the I Shobra kumobizu shosi, wanye shuru na wajamu wa ushaka, bifuza kujira mahiri kujama na ama yama majibu kudeti hanzim, kuhudio usanga metsaraji, awali mizimu wa usanga raji ba iba fasha kufunguka, ba kama ni mahiri wali hanzim, ba kama ni ukoo wa shobra kuitabira, ibi ni mikuru wali hanzim ya masom, kasa angi ni tiri zako na mahiri wali zamiri kujira mama maji ba ba. Uh, responsible chani, abenshi sanga kazi baji wa kora jimwe kwa njiza kaminuza mbuji kuri msanzu wa urenga kujia ukora mbitara usa aliku haya andi mahirwe harabanyi bawa nye brusi kuwela kubachi ya mbili meta mbuji yangu leo ufita mateka eh, kandi ukichishi nishanu kumbona ujikomeje mbukora uh, kazi kao mbuko tukwa usize uh, edu huye na wanyeshu ni bari mbili meta Changa bayi bayi mo ukabonu kwa bayi ho ni mwe kura jiza masomo akazila kwa mje bokuwa umsanzu watanze boka mje bokuwa ngamu kwa kijulu ubona bishi mishishi ahom bere rero mre chidi ya bere miuzo chidi ya nchini zako noko manana bayi mimi mbeti sana biyaji jiza bara mbo tuma tani chidi ya kwa mbeti ya fungu ye tuma tume nyako imiliani tari ya reta ishora kwa imiliani mchini mwezi sote. When you participate in METSO uh, as an association and as a student, it shaped really your life. First, it gives you experience to grow, and secondly, it gives you uh, the sense of supporting uh, the population in general by serving different outreach activities, and you look like empowered 
uh, to solve. So this really association helped me to shape my uh, needs or my enthusiasm to support the population and to serve the people. I've been the project coordinator, meaning that the, the skills that I've learned from the youth leader has helped me to create a project which has made an impact to the youth in my country because we reached the youth in the community and talk them about the prevention of NCDs. Uh, META made me who I am today because uh, I learned how to lead from META skills that I learned that time. Uh, I learned uh, networking. I have networkings from the stakeholders that we had from META and um, I can now I, I can now have an impact in the community from META skills and enthusiasm that we have had that time. If I hadn't got an experience of going to the community and seeing what causes most of the diseases we see when we put on the white coats, I wouldn't have gotten the love for the community. Because I used to see, as a clinician, as doctors, uh, uh, we see patients as they come in. You are in a clinic and then you, you diagnose and you treat and the patient. But I was always challenged by the recurrency of some of these um, diseases. The stemma nutrition, the urea diseases, whatever, uh, name it. You find that you, I needed more to understand what happens in the community. So I got this exposure. The first exposure was from medicine. And when you are still a student, you may not know the use of this message in the coming years, but actually it is. I, I, I testify to you, it has been a road map and uh, I'm saying uh, it to myself and my other colleagues out there as uh, a right path when you are medical, in a medical school, get exposed to the public health uh, activities and then you will be there, a good medical doctor of the future. I personally did not, uh, I didn't know medicine before I joined a medical school. When I joined medical school, I thought I was going to read books and be a bookworm person. Ever since that time, I became a different medical student. And throughout my journey in medical school, I think medicine has really, really, really changed uh, what could be my, in my experience at the medical school. So uh, I became a global citizen. A global citizen, became, I mean, to say that I have friends in almost every country in the world, and that is not because anything else but MEDSA. Medical uh, Student Association MEDSA has really opened up my eyes uh, to see how better of a doctor I can be. Because I've always uh, imagined a doctor as someone who comes in the hospital, see one patient, and leave. But now, uh, MEDSA has made me think in terms of academics, how much academics really, uh, we should be uh, involved in academics, be able to pass out the knowledge that we have. Uh, MEDSA has helped me to look into a societal level, uh, to know that if you're having uh, an impact, it shouldn't just be something that you do uh, for you or for your colleagues, but also for the society. So MEDSA has, has been a highlight of my medical career and even now I still meet colleagues that I've met uh, throughout my uh, medical student period and I think really Metsa is really my highlight. It's a bit more of the, the public uh, when you're doing the, the medical school. Um, it's about clinic, uh, about treating patient, meeting a patient, provide some education. But in Metsa, you learn more about the, the public health. Uh, you learn how you can impact the community, um, starting the community around you in different projects, um, sensitization. Uh, so I think it's more about uh, to be aware of the, the public health issues, apart from being uh, a clinician. Metsa. <laughs> I would say I'm uh, who I am today because of Metsa. I can go to any conference, present because of uh, what I started doing in Metsa. Metsa gives you that platform of, uh, you know, Gutinyuka, eh? You know, you, like you become someone else and you go present in conferences and, 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 and 
I mean, that confidence you get. So I got that from Elsa, and I'm still using it today. So I'm, who am I today because of uh, Elsa in actual sense? We believe that with all our passions and all our hard work, we can change the world into the way we want it to be. From research paper writing to organizing big events like FMSA General Assembly, METSAR members are now determined and convinced that from an idea, big activities can be carried out. All bring together knowledge to the volunteering and change the standards of living of people. And we believe this is how a true healthcare provider should live, learn and teach. E wafata gumwanya wo kuza guha ibiganiro abana b'abanyeshuri biga muri Troncoma e umuryango wa Mitsari udufasha kugira karima k'igikoni dusarura mu imboga e imbuto y'imboga badusigiye nubu niyo tukigenderaho abana bacu babijyeho byinshi bamenya koza amenyo ndetse muri uko kubaha ibiganiro mwabagenye nibikoresho nduba mwaraduhaye uburoso muduha korogate abana benshi bo mu ryango ikenye ntibabasha no kubona nibyo bikoresho uretse no kuba babifite ntibari bazi nuko bikoreshwa uyu munsi abana bo mwirango bazi ko babonye ubwo bushobozi bwo kugura uwo muti wo koza amenyo nubwo buroso bazi nuko bikoreshwa not only you know medical is supporting our basic different activities especially those activities touching directly the community awareness screening but we also know that medical are also working with other organizations i know medical are a good partners with uh, uh, Uganda the Abyss Association, Uganda Insidarians and many others. So I can say that the impact is huge. And the winner is none other than Medsad. Congratulations Medsad. Wow, thank you so much the campus for this award presented to Medsa. I dedicate this award to all Medsa members for their hard work, passion and unreserved commitment to serve the Rwandan community. Bere yuko mora na baba nye shuri viga mori kaminoza nisha midi yuboganga hara makuru menshi nari mfite chani kubijia nye nubu zima chani chani kubijia nye nubu zima vgimi yoro rocheri haba nye shuri raho maze kujirira iwacho kuchigo awo nijisha muli guru peskore richa hafi wado hayubo menye bginshi mbere bata nje batu kujisha kubijia nye nubu zima vgiza uburijo tugomba kurija neza uburyo tugomba kurya ibiryo birimo intunga mu birizi hagije baraza baduha mahugurwa icyo gihe twahuguwe turabarimo batatu no nushinzwe discipline ku ishuri baraza baratwigisha natwe tukaya tubyigisha abanyeshuri byageze naho baza baza ni mboga icyo gihe batwigisha guteka tujya mu gikoni dutekera abana amagi turangije tubaha n'imineke abanyeshuri bari bamaze kubyishimira cyane ku buryo nubu ngo biyo baje ku ishuri abanyeshuri bakamenya ko ari bo usanga bishimye aho ngo twamenye uburyo tugomba kurya neza tubihugurira n'abanyeshuri ku buryo niyo tubabajije batubwira ko babikomeje mu rugo wabo ko badashobora kurya ibiryo bitari mimboga rero twe twageze yo kuko turu rubyiruko natwe babasha kumva bagafunguka tukaganira nabo tukabasha kubahereza bwa bumenyi kandi na bwa bumenyi tubahaye nyuma babushyira mu bikorwa twagiye twakira uhamya bwinshi bwa banyeshuri dukorana nabo bavuga yuko nyuma yuko tumaje kwigana nabo bamenye neza uko bashobora kwirinda zirandwara uko bashobora kwirinda inda zitateganyijwe The journey of 25 years has been an amazing one and has been a true milestone to celebrate but the journey does not stop here the march continues we have aspirations we have dreams of transforming the world and leave it a better place. Through MedSAL I have been empowered and I've been exposed to other, to other topics that I didn't know. I just knew that about medicine, it was about being a doctor and going to hospital only. But I got exposed to global health needs, the population needs, and it's through MedSAL that I got empowered. Medsar est une plateforme qui aide aux femmes à s'émanciper et offre des formations euh, qui les aideront à perfectionner leurs compétences en leadership. 
à l'occasion du 25e anniversaire, je suggère que Metsar encourage ses membres à développer leur esprit de créativité et d'innovation. I want Metsar that advocates for medical students' needs. I want Metsar as a bridge to global healthcare family. I want Medisa the call of actions towards universal health coverage. I want Medisa as an organization that inspires healthcare reflection in the mind of people. I want Medisa as a capacity building hub. I want Medisa that thinks globally and acts locally at its best for all. I want Medisa with full and active member engagement in its activities. I want Medsa that promotes gender empowerment and leadership to ensure gender equality. Thank you. We believe we are the change makers and the change starts with ourselves. To everyone who has been part of our journey, we still count on your support and collaboration. We look forward to many more years with you. Keep this uh, good work you are doing, keep the light on. And uh, we think your work is being appreciated by the community, is being appreciated by the country, our programs, RBC, the Minister of Health, and I think it's really making uh, an impact in the community. So keep, I mean, keep on, and uh, we think that uh, together we have uh, a health uh, people and also a wealth nation. Today is a special day for Metsa, but not only Metsa, but for all of us as we work together with MEDSA and other youth-led organizations to accelerate their achievements, to build back better from the COVID-19 pandemic, and to join hands as we, we march and uh, address the unmet need for family planning, the issues that affect young people and adolescents, and accelerate the progress toward uh, the universal health coverage and SDGs in Rwanda. My message is to wish you a happy 25th anniversary, to commend your work and achievements over the past 25 years, and to urge you to continue this journey together so that we accelerate the achievement of the SDGs in Rwanda. Thank you. Thanks a lot from Denmark, um, and we hope that you enjoy your anniversary and celebrate a lot because you really earned it. And yeah, continue the great work. Metsa, first of all, we are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a lot of money. We are going to make a Medsa is a very important thing to do with the situation. We it's a milestone having a student organization operating up to 25 years. Uh, while it's a student organization, it's all about spirit and the moral. They don't have uh, any other support. They, no one is pushing them to do it. It's something comes from their, their inner heart and spirit. So I can first of all congratulate the people who have established or founded MEDSA and also congratulate the people who have engaged with MEDSA. I know it's a good platform to learn new skills you cannot get from your lecturer. Uh, but what I can say, I just say, uh, enjoy it, uh, feel it, have fun, and uh, keep impacting our nation. I really congratulate um, MEDSA for the impactful work they've been doing, for the lives that they've been saving around um, the adolescent girls and young women. They've really done a great, amazing work towards the past 25 years. So I call upon them again in the next 25 years to save more, more lives uh, as they've done in the, in the past 25 years. So I also call upon Meza to, to 
to keep on working together with us. We are ready to support, to guide them, and also uh, engaging like they should push us in the advocacy work to make sure that more lives are going to be saved in the next 25 years of the journey that they are going to start after the celebration of these past 25 years. Medisa has done an amazing work and uh, they should continue doing that. And I want to assure them that the services they offer are still needed in the community. They should never lose hope. The message I can give Medisa is that we still need you guys, we still need your power, we still need uh, your, your knowledge about uh, medicine in general, sex reproductive health, that's what we need here in Rwanda, especially young people are living with HIV. So keep it up and we're still behind you guys, we will support you everything you need. Thank you very much. Keep on working with youth and engaging youth because nothing for us without us. If we are advocating for a better health for youth, of course it's us who needs to be involved in all those activities that are, are benefiting youth, especially their health. So keep up the good work. We are looking forward to more activities together and I hope in 50 years to come we'll be having other youth engaging youth so it's a marathon so the marathon continues. Thank you and happy anniversary. Congratulations on reaching a milestone for the change you have made uh, among the youth uh, but also in the country because you know we need more young like you and the work you are doing it is really amazing among us i uh, would like to wish a successful year uh, and the future ahead uh, may you keep doing your efforts and service you offer to us or also to rwandan uh, we are very proud to be part of you uh, to be part of your journey we really wishing you all the best in the year ahead we realize when you become uh, an alumni of this association, the impact that did to your life, your career, and also to the population in general. So, having been the, um, the member of the association, I feel empowered. And for this anniversary, I can just encourage others and say thanks uh, to people that now are serving. Uh, to this, I'm proud of the association and um, thank to all the people that sustained this association up to uh, 25 years. That is really a big achievement. A lot has been achieved. I, I, I understand. Uh, I was in Medsa in the last eight years, but now we're celebrating 25 years of anniversary. So, it's a big achievement uh, and the sky is, is not the limit, that's what I can say. Go there to the community, uh, make many interventions, uh, change lives of, of people. Uh, Medsa is, uh, is big, it has international, uh, it's affiliated to international organizations. Uh, take that advantage, learn more how you can build our house system and we welcome you as uh, upcoming uh, medical professionals uh, to the Ministry of Health House, to the big uh, house organizations, really to serve with the background of the community service and that passion to change someone's house. I wish you a happy anniversary. I would like to uh, congratulate the current medical students you guys are brave. You've been braver than we've ever been. We've seen Medsa growing to a bigger organizations. You are beating even the medical doctors organizations. I'm sorry to say that, but I'm also proud to say that I have been part of that organization. Every time I walk on the street, I remember I've been part of Medsa. I feel so proud. So be proud of yourself because you are worth, because you're the leaders of today, but also the leaders of tomorrow. So let this uh, 25th anniversary be another breakthrough. Let's see Metsa booming even uh, better. Let's see Metsa going even to greater heights. 
you are the next uh, minister of ministers of health you're the next rbc directors you're the next uh, people in each and every positions so when you're there remember what you've been advocating for from now and be the change you want to see in the world i love you so much i would say that it's time to to, to reflect where the association has come from what it has passed through and where it is now and where it wants to be in the next uh, 25 years. And in order to do that, it requires those who have benefited, those who are members and other uh, uh, medical uh, students, medical fraternity, medical experts to join hands with these young, uh, brilliant medical students in thinking through uh, what and where this uh, uh, organization should be. Because it's us to, to contribute because we benefited from its, uh, its existence. So uh, I, would, I would call upon uh, those present here that uh, we need to at least find time and few resources in whatever we, we have so that we can be able to contribute to this uh, noble cause. Allow me to wish you a happy Metsas River Jubilee.